What's up guys and welcome to a new series on my channel called I Am Lazy Squad Builder. This is a series I used to do on my old channel back in FIFA 13. Uh, basically what I do is I use FUT Wiz's I Am Lazy app that they have on their website which will, I'll leave a link down below. And I choose a random formation and then I choose a random nation or a league. And I build the team that they give me and take it into a cup game or a cup games. And... Uh, I take it into cup games and I take it into random games. And then I tell you if you should build a team or if the team was rubbish or if there's like some hidden gems in that team that people don't know about or are really cheap and like you definitely need him on your bench or on a team. You know, you never know. So let's get into this so I can show you what was actually going to happen. Basically, I'm going to choose a random formation. So 4 3 one, 2 Going to set the console to whatever console you're on. I'm on PlayStation. So we're going to set position modifiers. Uh, we're going to now choose between nation or league. With that, we're going to go to the randomizer. And from here, I have a 1 to 10. So every odd number is a league. Every even number is a nation. So it's a nation. So we're going to randomize the nation now. All right, guys. And we finally get one. Iceland. I think they have a full team. So let's see what team they build us. All right, guys, that's the team that we have to build now. So I'm going to go build this team, and then I'm going to try it out, and I'll tell you guys if any of them are any good. So let's take it to the squad builder. All right, guys, so we're into the squad builder now. Uh, as you can see, the layout of the screen underneath my face right now is uh, the match fact. So my best player, who scored, how many goals I scored, conceded, blah, blah, blah. Uh, on the right, we've got, on the right of me, right there, we've got uh, the squad itself. So as you can see, the video where I'm going to add on the players and discuss the players myself and then underneath that is a sort of highlight reel but not a goals montage but more of a highlight reel of like chances i had some saves that i managed to put like i managed our goalkeepers managed to pull off and teams we've come up against uh so yeah let's get into this team so our goalkeeper uh, we had to make an iceland team so our goalkeeper was hal dawson i'm probably going to murder everyone's names here uh but yeah hal dawson was our goalkeeper 57 diving 58 handling uh 60 reflexes and 56 positioning it was, yeah, as you can imagine, I went into a gold cup with these guys. Didn't manage to win. I got to the semi-finals twice and lost by one goal on both of them, which sucked. But what can I say? I mean, I didn't expect to get into the semi-finals with these guys. As you can imagine, it was full of pace whores and everything. But Hal Dawson held his, in his own. As you've seen the highlight reels, uh, he was pulling off saves. But I, I'm pretty sure goalkeepers, gold goalkeepers, wouldn't even manage. So it was pretty good. Uh, for right back, we've got... So, I don't know if that's an A. So I'm gonna call him Save Arson. Uh, Save Arson with 80 pace. You can feel the pace. It was great. It was like the fastest player I had on the team, actually, which was uh, says everything there. But you know, 44 shot it was. It was. He was only one physical. So I mean, he was there with the headers and his defending was 63. He was all right. He was good for catching up with certain players. Anyway, uh, our left back was Johnson. 63 pace. Yeah. Uh, I had a bit of a struggle with this guy trying to catch up to Obama Yang in one of the games. I mean, I managed to win it still. And Johnson was quite strong. Um, but yeah, he, as you can see, he wasn't the best left back you could get. But he was like 200 coins. Discard value. So, I mean, it was worth it. Uh, my centre backs are gold. So we got Sigurdsson and Otterson. Both of these are actually surprisingly good. Like, uh, yeah, I got conceded. I conceded quite a few goals. But most of it was the goalkeeper's fault, to be honest. But what were you expecting anyway? But uh, Sigurdsson and Otterson have like one of the best like physical st stats I've, I've used on defenders. Actually, they were managed. They were managed to uh, head a uh, Markovic, Lewandowski. Don't get me wrong; they scored some as well. But they managed to out jump those guys and beat them in physical. It was great. I mean, Otterson's forty nine pace definitely, definitely was bad because I could feel it straight away that he was you know getting outpaced. Uh, but then we had Sigurdsson here who. Both of these guys are great centre backs, and unfortunately, I don't think anyone's ever going to play with the Russian league in silvers because there's better gold ones. But those two there are actually really good centre backs, and I'm going to keep them because they're actually quite fun to play with as well. Uh, for centre mids, as you can see here, we played in the middle. We had Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. Uh, we had Hal Fredson on this side. <laughs> And uh, Sigurdsson in form on this side. These Sigurdsson confused the crap out of me with the centre back. I never knew who was running forwards until I figured out that this Sigurdsson has yellow shoes, so that helped a lot. But Sigurdsson here, 69 pace, definitely felt it. Definitely, he was really slow, but yeah, I think he has high high. He's got medium medium actually, but he felt high high. He was always up there. He was always in defence. It was brilliant. He was actually doing really well. His uh, shooting stats are great. I mean, 
I couldn't manage to score anything with him. I don't know what is up with this team. I'll explain afterwards. But his free kick stats are insane. I think it's like 90, 84, 88. It was beautiful. Like, he would score free kicks. I mean, I got one goal with him with a free kick. The other one was fucked off the line. Uh, Johnson, what can I say? He was... I think he's got a high high. So he was definitely back there. I felt him go forwards. I felt him go back. He couldn't do anything else. I don't think I scored a goal with him. I scored a goal with him. Okay, I did score a goal with him. I think... It was, it was a good team. I mean, that guy was good. I enjoyed... He was definitely one of the main uh, brick walls in our, our midfield, actually. He was blocking people left, right, and centre and passing it forwards. It was good. I felt him a lot in the game. He was amazing. Uh, Half Redson, as you can see, 67 pace. Uh, 81 physical, though. He is he is so strong. He could hold off players. And I, he has one dirty long shot. Like, I scored a few goals in three. Two of them being long shots, I believe, which you'll see at the end of this whole video with the video montage of the goals I scored. Uh, yeah, he was really good. I enjoyed him a lot. His pace, again, let him down, but he felt really good when he was passing the ball and shooting it forward. Uh, for Cam, we had to actually change this guy to Cam. He doesn't originally come as a Cam. Finn Bogerson. He's actually a striker. Uh, changed him to Cam. 69 pace. He's got heart, uh, a medium medium again. He's lazy. <laughs> I call him lazy, but for a striker, medium medium isn't great. But um, 80 shot. That's really his only outstanding thing. I think he has three star skills. No, nope, he doesn't. He has two star skills. This team, I don't. It's probably the least skillful team I've ever used. There are two stars. Ball rolls were used, uh, but that's all they could do. Poor guys. But yeah, he felt okay. I mean, for a gold, he was a non-red gold that probably no one's ever gonna play because there's better players in the BVA. I believe he's in the BVA. Yeah. So he was good. He played. Oh, he held off well, sort of. <laughs> but the strikers. Now, I got Sig Borson. And in form, Kjartanasson, I probably murdered that guy's name. He cost me 140k, I believe it was. 140k, he scored one goal in six games. He is awful. He is the worst in form I've ever used in my life. This guy next to him, Sig Borson, has lower, has worse stats and felt so much better. He scored three goals as well for me, this guy, and he got an assist. He was good. I enjoyed him from uh, the Eredivisie. He was actually really good. I... Oh my god, he's good. If you guys have him, pick him up. I think I paid 550 coins for him. He felt so good on the ball. Don't get me wrong. This team played well, but their finishing was absolutely atrocious. I couldn't believe how bad it was. Oh, some of the keeper saves were just ridiculous. Like You think they score and they wouldn't. Like Johnson is one of the worst. You've seen the highlight reels. He messed up so many chances. One-on-one -on -one with keepers, he would not finish them. Uh, but, you know, we had this guy here to finish him off in the end. I... Uh, I went to the semi-final twice. I think I mentioned that already early on in the video. But this team got to the semi-finals twice. Lost again by one goal on each one. Uh, they performed really well. And forget handicap. I don't know where that even comes from. Like, I felt like I was being handicapped. And I was coming up against five-star teams. With 84 rating. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's an 87 somewhere in there. But it was awful. Like, I could not not win. It's just... It was... Oh, my God. It was fucking infuriating. That's all I can say. Like, there was fouls that should have been called that weren't called. Penalties that should have been called that weren't called. Stuff that I know that if I'd done, I would have, you know, just been fucking, like, red carded straight away. I'm surprised, actually, Austin didn't get red carded. There was a few slide tackles. But that's something they're really good at, actually. Slide tackling. These guys are tall. They're strong. And their slide tackling is immense. Like, these guys are so good at blocking. Like, I never lost a header. My midfield would catch every single head of uh, balls thrown or kicked out by the keeper. They were always there to push it forwards. Fortunately, the strikers couldn't finish for crap, but that's not the point. This team was actually really fun to use. I had a lot of fun playing in the two cups. Although it was uh, infuriating, those two cup runs, because of the bullshit that happened, I had a lot of fun with them, and they were really good. I'm actually going to keep them. I managed to pick up Sigurdsson for 51k. He's actually going for a little bit more now. 58, I think it is. But I managed to pick one up just before for 18k. So, although I'm going to make a, thing, a massive loss on my striker. Because I think he's gone down to like 68k now. Which is ridiculous. I was like, less, that's more than half price of what I paid for him. Which is shit. Because there was only four on the market when I bought him. And now there's like three pages worth. But, you know, guys. This team is definitely fun. Uh, if you're going to make a BPL t side and you prefer passing rather than running and skilling, Sigurdsson is definitely a man. He's amazing at free kicks. He's the cheapest Santi Cazorla, I want to say, in centre mid. He, he'll win headers, though. Sigurdsson will win headers. Uh, and yeah, and Hal Fredson. Definitely recommend this guy. This guy was fun to use. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, I hope you enjoy the montage. I'll see you guys later.
Turning purple above the community center And I'm sitting in a circle Telling my secrets to strangers And they say I've got a problem But I don't know that I've got one Cause you never know that you've got one so someone comes along and spots one They say it's the hardest step But it's the first one of many And my feet are stuck to the ground And I can't seem to take any I can tell them I just came for the free cup of tea and the biscuit and make my way towards the door But I don't think I can risk it Same time.